My name is Kain Tander Jennings and today I'm going to teach you how to convert categorical values to binary values. For instance, if I run this code I have here, let me import this data set so that you see what I'm talking about. Now, if you look at the sex column at this point, we have male and female. Of course, you want to do classification. You may not be able to use this test value male and female here. So how do we convert it to 0 or 1? I'm going to show you the easy way. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and that way you get nuggets like not nuggets like this every time I make them. So please hit the subscribe button and also like this video. So we are talking about male, female, we want to convert it to 0, 1. The first decision you need to make is what gets 0 and what gets 1. Do you say male gets 0, female 1, or do you say male 1, female 0? Alright, let's see. Let's see to that. So there is a function in, in, in pandas called domains. So I'm going to call get dummy. So I'm going to first to dummy is equal to pd dot get dummy. So what does get dummy do? Get dummies is a function that converts categorical variables to binary. It converts categorical values to binary numbers. So let's say get dummies. So this is the name of the function, and you need to specify the column you want to convert. So I'm going to say df uh, sex. So now, now I'm not converting it in place, meaning that at this point we have one new uh, data here or data set. Anyway, let's see what is inside here. So I'm going to just say dummy dot head. All right. So if I say dummy dot head, you can see that once we do get dummies, it converts one column into two columns. Make no mistake about it. So you now have to decide to choose either to use the two of them or to use only one of them. So having gotten this, what you can do is to append this dummy with the original data set. That is, you are going to uh, concatenate these dummy variables, uh, dummy columns we have here into this into this data set. To do that is also very, very simple. So let's concatenate it and later we drop this very one called sex. So to do to concatenate, you simply use a concat function. You are going to say, uh, let's say df2, so that I don't overwrite my data set, is equal to pd, is equal to pd, let's see, uh, pd, I think I should pd.concat, pd.concat, okay, and specify the original data frame df and specify dummy. So we have df2 that now contains these two. So I'm going to run it at this point. And if, okay, we are going to specify the axis of concatenation. The axis of concatenation is going to be one, uh, right? Yeah, so axis equal to 1. So specifying we are concatenating it as a column and not as a row. So let me run again. Uh, concat got multiple values. Okay, so I think we need to put the two data sets inside brackets like this. We need to put the two data sets we want to con concatenate. The, the original data set and the dummy data set that we have. So let me run it at this point. So this is how it works. So if I now check df2, if I check df2.head, you'll see that it have actually added two new columns there. You can see male, female has been added. Now, the next thing you want to do is to now drop the sex column. So I'm going to say df.drop, and I'm going to specify the column to drop. Uh, column to drop, specify in square bracket, and I'm going to say sex. And yeah, again, you specify the axis along which to drop it, and, and axis is equal to one. All right, so let's drop it. Boom. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I actually should have dropped df2 because this is the one we are talking about. So let me drop it first. All right, so at this point, you can see that df2 does not have sex column and it has male, female. Now we are going to also 
No, I, I don't like the, this. Let me just let me just cut this. So okay, now we are going to remove either male or female. You can either use the two or we use one. So let's assume we want to use only one and we are going to call that column sex. So in this case, if we want to say female is zero and male is one, we are going to use only the female column and we are going to drop the male column. But if we want to use male one, female zero, we are going to use the male column. So let's take the first one. Let's drop the male. So I'm going to say, I'm going to use this. This time I'm dropping male. Okay. So axis is one, so wrong. Okay. DF2 dot drop. Okay, so actually I'm going to say DF2 equals. So when we drop the sex column, we need to create another data set. So I'm going to run this. Okay. So we've dropped the sex column, and then I'm going to now if we check what is in DF2 dot head. Let's just make sure the sex column has been dropped. Okay, it's been dropped. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say df2 is equal to df2 dot drop. And this time we are going to drop the mail. So I'm going to drop mail along the axis, along the uh, along the vertical axis. So it's going to be axis, axis has to be one. So drop. Now mail has been dropped, so if I check what df2 is, df2 head, you'll see that we only have one column at that point, which is female. Now the next thing we want to do, uh, I would like to say, let's rename this female now to sex. So I'm going to just say, uh, if I can remember how to rename, df dot rename, just df2 equal to uh, sorry, let's rename it in place. DF2 dot rename rename columns to columns to rename is equal to and specify what you want to rename. We want to rename the column female to sex. That is what we want to do. So this is how to rename it, and if I run it at this point. Uh, let's see. Have error. Okay, not comma. It has to be a column. Okay, so just run it. So you can see that our work is all done. So you can see uh, it has been renamed male, female, not there, and it has been renamed to binary value. So this is the procedure. In the next part, I'll show you a simpler way, or let's say a, a different method. Of doing this. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me a comment if this has been informative for you.